Well, Josh, I know the fans this moment has felt like it's been a long time coming. Has it felt like a, a long journey to get here for you as well? It has. Um, you know, I didn't think this day would come, but uh, here we are, you know, uh, less than 24 hours away from getting ready to step into the cage and compete again. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. Uh, you know, at, at my age of 39, you know, I'm happy. I'm in a good place. I don't need to come in here to fight to pay bills. You know, I, I've kind of done pretty well for myself. And, you know, I'm finally in a position where I can come in here with no stress and just kind of, you know, get, get in here and fight. It's interesting for you to say that, to admit that, you know, maybe you thought this day wouldn't come. So did that kind of doubt creep in along the way? Well, you know, when you have injuries, um, you know, like I had, you know, a couple years ago with, with the injuries that I had, you know, it's always questionable, you know. So, um, you know, I took some time off. You know, I took, took quite a bit of time off, you know, uh, after I pulled out from the, the daily fight because I had a pretty ma major injury. And, you know, it um, bounced back. My body recovered from taking time off. You know, I, I got thick again, and I was like, wow. I was like, maybe I can do this, you know. So started training slowly. Um, you know, me and my dog, Gunner, we run about five miles, you know, every couple days. And, you know, uh, I started thinking, like, man, maybe I can uh, get back in there and compete again and, you know, get healthy. So I took and uh, did a mini training camp. Felt great. And then now uh, here we are. Josh, yeah. um, a um, little message from Paul Daly. He says, <laughs> stay fit, stay well. Yeah. Can't wait for you two to get in the uh, yeah. combat arena again. Are you looking forward to that? <laughs> well, i got to win tomorrow night in order for that to happen. So, um, But we want the history know. to repeat itself. Yeah, oh, I'd, I'd love it to repeat itself. You know, it'd be awesome. But, uh, you know, tomorrow night when I get my hand raised, and, you know, maybe we'll have some words with Paul Daly. Trust you have done so well for yourself outside of the sport. So I wonder, when it's not financially motivated, what does give you that drive to, to, to put that extra effort into the gym and to, to get up in the morning and, and go in there on the days you don't want to be there? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the whole thing of just getting your hand raised. You know, um, from a kid from four years old wrestling, it's the only thing I, you know, cared about. You know, and it's uh, I'm at a point now where I can have that free care again you know I'm not like I said I'm not coming in here to pay pay my bills you know my pills are my bills are all paid and uh, I'm very blessed and, and thankful that I've surrounded myself with good people like Bob Cook and Dwayne Zinkin Mark Gross from Oak Grove and you know just amazing people that uh, support me and have supported me over the years and you know uh, uh, guided me in my business sense and, and helped me get uh, you know um, to that position to where I don't need to come in here and, and stress about oh my god if I lose this fight or I can't fight I got I got to pay my bills and, uh, you know, Scott Coker called and, you know, I picked up the phone and we talked and we got a deal made out. And, you know, here I am. Took me a little longer than expected, but I'm back. <laughs> I know you're looking to be victorious tomorrow night, but is there any chance that this is it? Well, you never know. I mean, you know, if I go out there and stink it up and have a shitty night, <laughs> you know, I'm going to be questioning myself and everybody else is going to be questioning myself, you know. Um, granted, you know, my last couple of fights, they haven't been the greatest, you know, but um, look who I was fighting. You know, I was fighting some goddamn killers, you know. I mean, I fought three of the guys out of my last five fights were champions, are champions. You know, one of them is the champion now. And uh, so, you know, those all could have been title fights, you know. So, but I tell you this, if I go out there and stink it up tomorrow night, you know, it's going to be real hard to get me back in training camp. <laughs> is that a different kind of pressure knowing that you're fighting for not money, but... Continue to go I'm, on legacy wise. I don't. Nah, I don't care about my legacy. You know, I care about my bank account. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I, I, that's more important to me than than a legacy. Uh, you know, I mean, whatever it is, it is. I, I know that I come from a wrestling background, four-time All-American national champ. That's ten times harder than this sport of mixed martial arts. Does that make this whole thing easier, the wrestling background, in the sense that you guys, you guys at a tournament will fight, you know, five times in a in a in a single tournament? You had some rough losses. You mentioned them. Does it make it easier for you to overcome that kind of stuff, that wrestling background, and that you know, just having to forget stuff? Yeah, you know, it does. I mean, it's like the Super Bowl. There's a lot of teams out there that didn't win it this year, right? They got next year. So, um, you know, it's combat sports is 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 a little different people, the fans and, and the media and, and uh, um, you know, they judge it, you know, they judge mixed martial arts a little bit different because, you know, you think about basketball, they play so many games, you know, us fighters are only fighting a couple times a year and if they, you know, you go out there and lose, they're like, oh, he's lost it, he's done, he's this and that. I mean, think about the Anderson Silva, you know, I, I don't know, it's very controversial win or loss, whatever, that's, but the guy's fighting to fight, you know, because he loves it and, uh, you know, it's kind of a, you know, I don't love the training, but I love getting out there and competing. Josh, I know you said you don't care about your legacy, but do you feel like you get the respect that you deserve? I mean, you were a, a big star in the sport when it really kind of launched here in the United States, for sure. Well, 
you know, I mean, I'll let you guys debate that, um, you know. So uh, for me, I'm, I, I don't care about legacy. I, I care about, you know, making money, providing for my family and, you know, and, and uh, living the dream. Is there a little bit of soul searching for you? First time you went and said, let's see if we can run, being away, maybe appreciating things a little bit differently? Oh, no doubt. You know, um, it, it was a tough comeback, you know, like I could barely, I mean, I have videos of me, I could barely lift, you know, curl a, a 10 pound dumbbell. So, um, you know, and, and uh, it's bounced back and, you know, I passed all the, the medicals for this thing and uh, I'm stronger than ever, I believe. And, uh, you know, my, I, I believe I'm in great shape. My power punch is good and man, wrestling's on key and jujitsu's tough. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like, you know, that definitely I'm, I'm, I'm in a different place. Josh, there's a lot of fighters that are in their career and they're not in the position that you are, you know, to be financially independent. Did you, do you feel like you got a little bit lucky along the way or did you handle some things and do you have advice for young fighters following your footsteps so that they can end up like you? No, nah, there's no there's no such thing as luck. You know, it's, it's called hard work, dedication, you know, that type of stuff. You know, I, I worked my ass off, you know. Um, when I was off for the, the year that I was off, when I was going to fight the Paul Daly fight, I mean, I was putting 18-hour days in, you know, in business. So, um, you know, there's no easy way out, you know, and there's no, like, there's no magic way to go out there that you're going to just be like, oh, there's easy money. There's no such thing as easy money. This is, this is, this is the hurt business. This is this money's hard as shit. You know, you go out here and you train for this many weeks, and then you come out here and fight somebody. Um, you know, it's like, oh, you know, these people think it's, this is easy. It, this is hard money. You know, but I tell you what, there's no such thing as free money in this in this world. You got to go out there and you got to work hard, and that's what I do. I take my wrestling mentality, everything I've learned from wrestling at back in Edinburgh, and and I apply it to life in general. And it's just, hey, you know, um, if I'm not going to be the one that's working hard, there's going to be somebody out there that does. And, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to put 18, 20 hour days in. And, and I do that in business. So Last one for me. What's been tougher for you mentally or physically locking in for this? Um, well, I lose money by being here. <laughs> so, you know, that my pocketbook thinks like, damn, what the hell are you doing? You know, but, uh, you know, my businesses are successful and I'm, I'm very blessed and I'm thankful to have these opportunity to come out here and have good people to fill in the void while I'm missing, uh, you know, so, but I'll be back, you know, starting Monday morning. Well, it's President's Day Monday, so Tuesday, uh, you know, I'll be back on the grind.